Well, good morning, church. What a privilege it is to be able to encourage you today. I'm reading today from Luke 18, verses 1 to 8. And I want to ask you this question. What are you praying for? What are you believing God for? Luke 18, verses 1 to 8. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with the plea, grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused. But finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? This is such an important teaching about prayer. Can I just ask you, what are you praying for? And how do you pray? Are you persistent? Do you keep on asking and asking or do you give up easily? Because see, Jesus told this parable so that people would learn how to persist. If we merely believe that God is all powerful and has the answers to what we need, that alone should be sufficient to motivate us to keep on praying and not give up. But there's a greater truth in this parable. You see, the truth is God is not an unjust judge. God is a loving father. We're his very own sons and daughters. That's why it says Jesus told them this parable to motivate them, to show them that it's necessary always to pray and never to give up. I want to encourage you today. If you've been praying about something, maybe you haven't seen the answer. Maybe you haven't yet seen the, the situation turn or the circumstances uh, change. Can I just encourage you, pray again. Ask again. You're not a nobody to him. You matter to him. Let's stir our faith to ask again. I just want to pray over you uh, right now. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray right now. Holy Spirit, would you stir people's hearts to believe again, to pray again, to exercise their faith again? I pray right now that faith would arise in the hearts of people. And I speak restoration to vision that's been shelved, to hopes that have been dashed, to prayers that have apparently gone unanswered. I thank you that you're a loving father. And I thank you that we're not nobodies to you. We're your very own sons and daughters. And so we come boldly today. We come boldly today before your throne of grace so that we might receive mercy and find grace in our time of need. I thank you, Father, today for prayers answered. I thank you, Father, today, this week, for testimonies of circumstances changing, situation shifting, and for a, for a divine acceleration, restoration, and blessing in Jesus' name. Amen.